YouTube, you know who this is, man. It's your boy, Kevin DeVick. Tyrus Fick. No boo, just boo. Look at me, player. All the way down to the kicks. Yeah. Your boy know how to get cleaned up, man. It's date night. For all you, all you brothers out there, got your girls at the crib. Shame on you. You need to take her out. Not to the gym to go push no more weights, but take her to a nice restaurant somewhere. Not McDonald's. Nothing like that. Take her somewhere nice. Cause it's date night. We about to go eat player. I'll catch y'all in. Matter of fact, let me tell y'all where we're going. We're going to this nice little jazzy spot downtown. Natty called Coyote. El Coyote, matter of fact. I ain't never been. So I'm gonna take y'all with me. Let's ride. Right. You, ready to, you ready to rock out? We about to go. Say hey, TT. Tell the world what's up. Hey, how are you? <laughs> we about to go eat, man. So you already know. Get the truck up, fill your cup up, partner. It's time to ride. Here we go, man. Yeah. All right, fellas. It's something been on my head, man. I need, I need to, I need to, I need to get up off of me. <laughs> Nothing serious though. How y'all been, man? Hope everybody doing good. Did y'all catch that 200? I hope y'all caught that 200 Armageddon tricep blast that I did. Leave your comments at the bottom, man. I want to know good, bad, and different. You know your boy, he don't, he don't, he don't have step. I put up, I put up epic fails. <laughs> I put up muscle failure. All of that. Couple times, man, I felt I, I, I felt like I was gonna lose my cookies. I didn't, I didn't put that in there, but I wasn't gonna put it in there. But I was like, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in there. But anyway, I hope y'all try that, man. Plateaus. You having a plateau effect? If you happen to exp be experiencing the plateau effect, we all do. Some people may think that doing uh, over overworking yourself like that is just going too far <coughs> me personally first of all let me let y'all know i could not put every single rep that i did in that video because if i would have hold up man y'all in my snot box back up if i would have put every single rep in that video that video probably would have been about 30 minutes long if not longer i ain't doing that to nobody all right Y'all know I keep it 100. All my true subscribers that that ride that been riding with me from day one, y'all know I don't have step. So, for those of you that think that it's kind of it's kind of not a good idea to do that, let me let me let me tell you why it is. Overtraining is the only way, and I will stand behind this 100%. Overtraining, mass amount of volume. Not overtraining to where you get hurt. But I'm talking about pushing yourself to the max without limits. Just go, 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 go. Not every day, all day, not all the time. Because your central nerve, your body will, your body will, will self-preserve, period. It don't matter what the hell you do. Okay? I don't care what you do. Your body is gonna kick into self-preservation. If you overdo it, it's gonna shut down, period. It's not gonna move anymore. Alright, your central nervous system is is that is that that will shut you down. All right, so then we're not talking about that. Let's keep it 100, man. All right, I am talking about training, pushing yourself, pushing yourself to the maximum limit, and I call that training unconsciously. What does that mean? That simply means when you get in the gym before your body even catch up to what the hell you doing, you just go butt wild before you even realize. Damn. I just pushed all this weight. I've been here 45 minutes, and I done, I done pushed damn near everything in here. That's what I'm talking about. That's overtraining. <laughs> Don't have no rep count. When you start, when it starts to burn, and you feel like you can't push no more, that's when you start counting reps. That's when you, that's when you lock in. Most of the time, man, some of the people that I train with. They don't even want to fuck with your boy because they know when I'm, my 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 warm ups is sometimes in some people whole workout. That's real talk. Y'all saw it. If you saw my video, y'all saw that. Y'all saw what I did at the end. That wasn't no just add a couple. I did that. You feel me? I was in there longer than 45 minutes. That 200 reps, that was my warm up. Some people might think that was stupid. Whatever. I'm growing. All right, I'm growing, and I'm gonna show you what I. I'm gonna show you them arms. I'm gonna show you them them, them cannons. In about three weeks, I'm gonna let y'all see. 
I'm gonna let y'all see. I was 17, about 17 three quarters, right, right under 18 inches on my arms. My joints, hey, just try it. My arms is on cock diesel right now, player. Real talk, man. So anyway, if you want to plateau, man, you got to change up your game plan. You feel me? You got to do something different, man. Stop doing the same damn routine all the time. If you if you follow a lot of people on YouTube or you follow a lot of YouTubers, a lot of exercise people, whatever, it's okay to take different aspects of different workout regimens and build your own regimen. That is the best way to change your body. Your body does not understand that you just switched up the program. So it has to respond to that. It has to respond to that. If you go in the gym, if you want them guys to go in the gym, and the first thing you do is go to the same exact hammer strength machine every time that you walk in the gym for one particular muscle group, you plateaued out. That's why you're not making any gains. You're getting frustrated. Switch your whole game plan up. Do something that you've never done before. Trust me on this, man. I'm going to do a plateau effect video coming up probably in about a week or two. Real talk, I'm going to do a plateau specifically plateau effect video and it's just gonna be called that plateaued out and I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about you switch up your game plan man and do something completely different so I ain't gonna bang on this too long man we, it's date night it's date night player <laughs> yo if your girl watching this with you I don't mean to get you in trouble but you need to get your ass off the sofa and you need to take her out to get her something to eat not no Chick-fil-a or no Mickey D's man we going down to El Coyote player so y'all ride with me, man. Hey, I appreciate everyone. I'm going to say it a thousand times. Oh, oh, how y'all let me forget this? Listen, real talk. If you do not have, listen, get real close to my snot box. You see all that? Listen, if you do not have a Google Plus account, be advised right now. It is very imperative for you to have a Google Plus account, a Google Plus account, and you need to put me and or Drew in your circle on or before FitCon 2014. That's all I can say. Very imperative. I'm gonna do something that's gonna shock the hell out of all y'all. Very imperative. <laughs> FitCon 2014, make sure you have your Google Plus account. Enough about it. Listen, man. Y'all, y'all, let me know. Here we go. I gotta get up. Yeah, what's the what's the better phone? We here's the debate. <laughs> TT, TT got to get a new phone. So in the, in the description box, y'all let me know what's the better phone. I got this. I got a Samsung Galaxy Note three. And it's humongous. I got. I got. Okay, I got. She got a. She got a little raggedy ass iPhone. Uh, what you got? A four. Four S. She got a four S. What y'all think is the better phone? The Samsung Galaxy Note three or, or the iPhone? Yeah, because y'all let upgrade. me. Cause she get a she get an upgrade she get an upgrade in about a, like a in, in June or something like that she get an upgrade so y'all y'all let me know if y'all if y'all would mind help a brother out and let me know what y'all think is the best upgrade man iPhone or Samsung it's in your hands now her future resides in your hands thank you hey y'all ever seen anybody ratchet here, here here's ratchet that's ratchet as hell right. <laughs> is that ratchet I finally made it downtown nightlife it's pretty down here it smells good down here too I hardly ever come downtown but this is what we eating at y'all so let me get y'all a good let me get y'all a good shot of this this is what we eating at tonight hold on any of y'all ever had that it's like a Tex-Mex I don't know what the hell no Tex-Mex is, but we about to try it out. Let's go inside and get it. Oh, look, they got a little fire pit and everything. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Oh, how nice is that? Ooh. Ooh, high class. Let's go. Here we, here we go. Y'all know I always got to fix my flat brim. The lighting in here is horrible. But the food is succulent. Thank you. This is like manna from heaven. It is not good. Yes. <laughs> Let me show y'all what we are, we are dining in with on date night. <laughs> Our steaks are, I think, are as good as anybody's. They smell. They smell wonderful. Okay, enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Let me show you what. What you got? What you get, T? 
They're cheese. Well, they're supposed to be cheese, and they have pork in them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Her, her order is all wrong. Again, for the second time, she was supposed to get some cheese, some chicken. What'd you get? Just cheese. Some cheese enchiladas, enchiladas There's and they some got kind of meat they got there. pork in them. So it's all wrong. Plus they had ranch on them. Took it back and brought it back like five minutes later. So you know that they just wiped the ranch off. <laughs> this is a bad spot for them. But anyway, look what I'm working with. Pow! Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's a porterhouse, baby. Look. Got a filet on one side. Got the strip on the other. Also got me some mashed sweet potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I appreciate y'all riding with me for this little short bit of time, man. You know I always like to let y'all in on, on what's going on in my life every now and again. I like to take y'all with me, feel me? So, while we wait on T to get her thing, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. Stay tuned, man. Like I told y'all, I'm definitely gonna do plateaued out a video coming very soon. We're gonna work on that. So anybody uh, that's got that plateau issue, like I have been having, and everybody else, we're gonna we're gonna work on that. All right. So anyway, thank y'all for checking in, man. I love all y'all. Appreciate your subs, man. If you like any of my videos, please, right down there in the bottom, there's a thumbs up. I'm sure you guys already know this, but don't forget to like the videos, please. It helps out the channel a lot. And leave your comments, man. Shout out, holla at your boy, man, if you want to chop it up. You already know I like to chop it up, so that ain't no problem. Anyway, man, I'm going to hand close this out because my steak getting cold. Care about, I love all y'all, man. Thank you for checking in. You already know who it is, man. It's the guy, son, Kevin Levesque, Tyrus Fit, No Bulls, Just Bowl. Here we are. They were just supposed to be cheap.